Yo, what's happening? I've been meaning to make a video about this recently. I've came across this on my SOG Terminus XR. Um, what I have here is a SOG Terminus XR and it's in the CTS BD Z1 steel and it's um, pretty moderately used. Um, something I came across you can see here is the bar has become bent sideways. You can see here it's about 30%, 40% from the top, and then on this side it's all the way 90%, 95% to the top, and you can see it's bent. And what has happened is, um, well, I basically have used one side of the lock bar to sometimes kind of play with it, open and close it, and now it's kind of broken. You can see, man, it, something's just seriously wrong with this rattling in there and uh, I'm not really sure what's going on I might have broke something in there um, it still kind of functions but it's just real wobbly now I don't know what's going on but anyways I just wanted to, to note that <sighs> I don't know what's going on but I've used my one-handed method to kind of fidget with my axis lock bench made hundreds of times See, using one, one hand, one side of the lock bar to open and close it, and it hasn't vented it at all, not even in the slightest. And I, I'm just, I'm, a, I'm. This is this is older than this knife. This is way older than this knife. This is one of the first knives I got back about eight years ago, give or take. And um, you know, when I first started getting into knives that weren't just like a Swiss Army knife. So this is way back then. I mean, this could be up to 10 years old, even almost 10 years old knife, maybe eight, nine, somewhere around there. Anyways, I've probably had this knife for about three years, four years maybe. And uh, yeah, this is something has just gone wrong with it. And um, you know, it might look pretty worn. I haven't really even used it very much. It just, I guess the satin finish really showed the scratches on it. You know, I haven't abused this knife at all, and um, I've used it exactly the same as I've used the Benchmade. And it just happens, like, when I use that one-handed, that when I use my thumb only instead of both fingers to open and close it, it looks like it broke it, busted something in there, and, and um, you know, it wasn't loose like that until I started this video, but it was sideways, and now it's, now something broke just as I was making this video, so, yeah, I don't know, it, it was, it, it wasn't loose like that, so that just happened literally now, but, uh, I'm assuming one of these Omega springs broke or something like that, but I just wanted to, sh to put this video because even though it's loose now, it wasn't before, it was still sideways and broken, and it wasn't fully disengaging and it was kind of like stuck in some spots but uh, anyways I it's a wild card here it is the uh, Spyderco Manix 2 I'm gonna open it with just my thumb just like I did the Benchmade you can see that I use just my thumb open and close it using one side to open and close and it's not gonna have any issues because it's well built so I thought I'd just put that video out there um, never had that issue with the Manix 2 either. That's my second Manix 2. My original one has no issues such as the SOG. So let me know what you think. Thanks.